In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to butterfly click 20 plus CPS on almost every mouse. Recently, a lot of people have been asking me on how to butterfly click, and inside the YouTube community, it seems to be a decently popular topic. One thing that I noticed a lot of people had trouble with was getting high CPS while they try to butterfly click. And for that, I've set a goal for this video, which is to help you and to teach you the proper way of getting high CPS even if your mouse cannot double click. Another thing to keep in mind is not to always rely on the performance of your mouse. That's why in this video, I'll be going over the right grip, the right position, and the right placement for your mouse while you butterfly click. Just as a quick disclaimer, this tutorial is mostly targeted to new beginners who want to learn how to butterfly click. But this video can also help you out even if you already have experience on butterfly clicking. Anyways, if you guys do have any further questions about butterfly clicking or anything else in general, feel free to drop a comment down below. Without a further ado, let's get right into the video. To start off the video, I'll be talking about different softwares. So depending on the brand and type of mouse you have, this step can vary but be extremely important. If your mouse does come with a software, I would definitely recommend you to get it because it might have a debounce setting. A debounce setting or a debounce timer basically helps you to get 2 CPS from one click. So for my mouse, the glorious Model O, the debounce time button is right here. If I click on it, then a slider pops up. Now note that some softwares may not have sliders and have a zero debounce setting instead. For example, most Rocat softwares have a zero debounce setting. For the zero debounce setting, just turn it on and you should be ready to go. But if you have a slider like me, you're going to want to put it all the way to the left. And for the Model O, it restricts me to 4ms, but if you can go lower on your mouse, make sure to go as far as possible. This will really help you to gain that extra few CPS while butterfly clicking. When it comes to butterfly clicking, you always want to make sure that you have a good grip. The way that you're going to want to grip your mouse would be something like this. You're going to want to first put your pinky finger onto the right side of the mouse, so it would look like this, and then you're going to want to put your thumb on the other side. And once you've done that, then you're going to want to take your ring finger and put it onto the right mouse button. The remaining fingers are the pointer finger and your middle finger. Then you're going to want to put those onto the left mouse button. So this is how your grip should look like at the end. So your thumb on this side, the pinky on that side, then the ring finger onto this mouse button, and these two fingers onto this mouse button. Now, most mice have a special place where they can double click. For example, I've seen many mice have their double clicking spot at the edges of their mouse, like over here and over here. So if your mouse does double click over here, you're gonna wanna put your two fingers onto those that spot like this. And then everything else stays the same except for that. The main reason for why I like this grip is because it can really help you to improve your aim. Because when you are when you have your pinky and your thumb on the sides, it helps coordinate your mouse so when you're fighting someone, you can move your mouse around and butterfly click at the same time. So for the correct part of your finger, you're going to want to use these two lines over here on your uh, middle finger and on your pointer finger. So what you want to do is you're going to align these two lines with the edge of your mouse like this. You're never going to want to use the tip of your fingers because if you do that, you're preventing any double clicks and you're going to get way less CPS. And if you do it like this, then you can get even more CPS by hitting your double clicking spot. So when you click your mouse like this, it helps you to achieve those double clicks and helps you to get even more CPS. Here's the difference between clicking it with the tip of my fingers for the Model O and clicking it the normal way. So this is the one with the tips. So you can see that I'm getting around 11, 12, 10, 13, that was the highest there. Yeah, so not that much. So now I'll be doing it the proper way of uh, butterfly clicking. And you can see that I just got 22 right there, 21, 24, 22, 24 again, 22, 21. 19 so like usually above 20 most of the time the speed of how fast you should butterfly click varies between each mouse in this example i'll be using the model o and this office mouse and the model o can double click really well so that means i could go really slowly i could just try to get in those double clicks so just like this i'd be getting every single double click which would help me to get high cbs but on the office mouse this mouse can double click really well a solution for this is to go a bit faster. This can be very tricky and it could also make your aim really bad. 
So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just practice butterfly clicking really fast. So you just want to practice going faster and faster because that's the only way that you're going to get high CPS. And once you think you've got the hang of it, try a CPS test. Basically, the more you practice going faster, the more CPS you'll get. Here's some clips of me getting 20 CPS while butterfly clicking on the office mouse. So here's a quick clip of me of getting 20 CPS on the office mouse. So, so there you go, I just got 20 right there. I'm getting like 15 to 20, 18. And here's the second clip. Oh, there you go, I just got 20 right there. It's very inconsistent because sometimes the double clicks come in and then sometimes it doesn't, but it does work and it can get 20 CPS. And the highest I've gotten was like 22. So it, it shows that it is possible to get 20 CPS on almost every mouse. Another major thing that comes to butterfly clicking is the amount of pressure that you put in. You're not going to want to hit your mouse really hard because that'll make you get less CPS. Usually soft taps work the best. Just a soft tap like this will help you get way more CPS and will make your aim way better. Hitting your mouse really fast does sometimes help you to get more CPS, but it doesn't help as much as if you were to double click softly. And if you do hit really fast, then your aim gets shaky and you do end up getting less CPS. And when you smash your buttons, your double clicks don't always go through. So just keep in mind to keep your pressure decent and not too hard. And now I'll be showcasing the difference between high pressure and low pressure on the Model O. So this first clip will be about high pressure. So when I try not to get all the double clicks, I can only get like around 15, 16, 14, 13. But when I go uh, slowly and get the double clicks in, it can get 20. I got the highest 24 right there, 20 again, 19, 21, 22. So going slow with not that much pressure helps you to get way more CPS uh, instead of putting a lot of pressure and not getting your double clicks in. Motion is another key aspect of butterfly clicking. Basically the motion you're going to want will be something like this. You're going to want to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. If you do taps like uh, two times on your ring finger then you do one time on your pointer finger is not going to help you get high CPS while butterfly clicking. And if you are a new butterfly clicker, this may be challenging. But I first recommend you to start off by just doing slow taps just like this. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And once you get more comfortable with it, you can start going faster like this. And try to always get those double clicks in. When you're doing the one, two motion, try to get those double clicks in. And once you're done, it should sound and look something like this. So you can hear mostly just double clicks and and you can see that I'm getting 24 CPS, 22 CPS right there. For the conclusion of this tutorial, I really hope that you learned something from this video. Even if this video just helped you to get a higher CPS average, it'd mean a lot to me. Butterfly clicking is very simple and all you need is practice and to be consistent. Remember not to lose your hope just because it doesn't work out the first few times you try. Just keep practicing and I'm very sure that you'll get the hang of it. Anyways, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and subscribe. Not only does it let me know that this video helped, but it also motivates me to make even more of these types of videos. If you do have any other video suggestions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.